Right, this is where we're going to show you how I go about um, adding piping layouts to an architectural plan. We've got a partially completed building here. Um, it's got several bathrooms. Another bathroom over here, another bathroom over here. Um, it's a bit complex as it's on several levels, so there's a few height changes that we have to go through here. Um, and what's required is we need to put in a piping run which the designer has said goes right through the middle of the building and we're going to hook up all these fittings into this piping run going right through here. There is a change of level happening here. We need an inspection opening up at this end. There's a bit more to do here where we're connecting into the, the mains um, and we'll look at that as well. So the first thing to do is to set up your views. Um, you're going to need plans and a section and usually a 3D to help you do all the modelling. Um, the key here is to get these set up so that we can view all the piping systems. Now I also have set up um, the repository of all the uh, piping fixtures. Now this has been expanded into a new version to include, um, there's a slot drain over here um, and a sump, a manhole, a gully trap and an inspection opening riser. We'll show you how some of these things work in this process. What is also in here is some view templates that you can use to help you um, set up your own views. Now there's a plumbing schematic that you could use for your final documentation and there's a plumbing schematic working one which will help you in actually modelling them. They're very similar, just with a couple of uh, basic changes. If we have a look at the plumbing schematic working, which is the one we're going to use to start off with, Notice how these view templates have very little that is actually included to be changed. There are some overrides to the model settings and basically that is the plumbing fixtures category is set to be transparent. And if we expand that out, we've got um, these categories that have come through from the Revit Works piping families, sewer, sewer schematic, stormwater, um, stormwater schematic, and these connection planes and fall arrows. Now, in the working um, view template, these are turned on. In the schematic template, these are simply ticked off. Also, if we scroll down here, I prefer to have the surface patterns on all my walls hidden. I find that just makes for a clearer drawing. And also, the discipline is set to mechanical here. So what I need to do is use transfer project standards to get those view templates from the piping store into my project. Now they're coming across. So now I'm going to select the floor plans or, or all the views that I want to use. Right click on here, apply the view template and we'll use plumbing schematic working and go OK. So what that's done is set all views to be in the mechanical discipline um, and set everything up so that I can see them. It's great in the 3D view I can clearly see all my um, plumbing fixtures. So now I can start working through and placing piping.